on fire today, man! Whoa! Like 10 cups of coffee and playing with Pez dispensers. Woo! Feeling great. What's really going on, Pez Collecting fans? Just the Pez Guy here on the Pez Book Channel. That's Mia's. Let her know I got it. Do me a favor. Leave me your questions, comments, concerns, and in everything down below. Now then, the Ziploc bag. I traded an item for so I could get all of this, and uh, I want to make a video out of this. So, uh, in Mia's box is this, and it is a, uh, a beak for the raven, and here we have a raven. Now, this particular raven, uh, really cool uh, stem on it, it is Focus. There we go. 3.4 Hong Kong. If you notice, there's this little uh, piece of plastic hanging from the bottom of the uh, inner sleeve as well. Which makes me question, why is there a foot with it? Uh, but this is the IMC7. Uh, very beautiful stem. Uh, the head spring has sprung, and also here in the back you'll see the candy kicker is broken as well. That's a shame. But... Um, I noticed that there was a difference between these two uh, particular beaks. And when we do it this way, okay, you can see that, see a little black spot, kind of looks like a little melt. I grab my Poking right in there. Yeah, see that right in there? Yeah, there's supposed to be a peg that comes out of there. And that peg is going to go into one of these little holes. Now, this is the correct uh, particular uh, beak, if you will. Never try to pull the glasses out. See how the glasses slide in that way and how they cover the hole? And then the actual peg that's on the face here, um, that is going to go into that little hole there and hold the glasses in place. So never try to pull those glasses out. But then when we compare it to this other one, it has different holes. These holes are different. Right, uh, the one on the right, you can see how it has the circular hole. Well, this one here on the left, it's a little bit more squared off. So when I take this one here and uh, now this is a Hong Kong head, so it's made in a completely different country. You can see the, uh, the partial cheeks right here. So when we take our, oh, we gotta put it on the right way. Now we don't have the glasses for this, but as we try to take the beak and we try to push it on there, that's as far as it's going. It's it's not going on there, and that may be, uh, you know, different spacing in those two holes is why the extra peg that holds it onto the face broke off. That could be. Now when I was pushing on that, my my pointer finger was rested hard here on this. So that may be also why the uh, candy pusher is uh, broken off as well. Um, here's something else you may be able to see here. There are these little numbers, letters, right there and right there. Um, these are found on the Metal Spring uh, Hong Kong dispensers. So make sure that that is what type of uh, inner sleeve you have on yours. So. I'm going to take this off and put on the correct one. And we're going to make sure our glasses are down properly. And when I push it back on the head, there we go. Nice looking raven. But this, this little piece of plastic. You can't. Definitely can't stand up, but, but will these feet work? Hey, the feet do work. And he stands up. His head's a little floppy, though. Okay, a lot floppy. Huh. It's another defect. But a very cool dispenser. Very hard one to find. Oh, yeah, and this. 
That's going to go right back in there. Because that's Mia's. Mia, contact me if you need that. I got it. So until next time. Oh, this. There we go. That's the cooler side.